Yeah, Raina, Southeast Polk is in the state quarterfinals for the fifth season in a row, but their path here this year is a lot different than years past. The standard is high at Southeast Polk. Pressure is a privilege, and, and, and uh, playing here uh, has become a big deal because of the guys that, that have come before them, and, and some of those guys, uh, you know, have, have played at a high level. Division I players like Caden Proctor, Abu Sama, Xavier Nwampa, and Connor Moberly helped Southeast Polk lose only three games from 2020 to 2023, but in this season alone, the Rams have lost four. We're in a different situation. Um, and so that's the lesson is that, you know, there's a belief that, uh, you know, we're going to uh, overcome adversity and, and put ourselves in a position to go in. And, and that's been good. You know, we've, we've had plenty of that and, and nobody's going to feel sorry for us. So we understand that. Despite four regular season losses, Southeast Polk has put themselves in a spot to get back to the dome. <laughs> A couple early losses, we didn't know what our season was going to look like in the end. We didn't know we were going to make playoffs, but the whole time we had confidence. We knew that we had a good shot. You know, we're kind of a new team, so there's not that many of us that have been there, but they were behind guys, so they know what it takes to go out there and just put on a show. I'm doing all the things that it takes to win games in November, taking care of the ball, you know, scoring points when you get in the red zone, situational football, getting off the field on third down. And, and so those things, you know, haven't, you know, that hasn't changed all year, and, and now they get amplified. Well, you just saw Southeast Polk's upset road win to get here. Well, Iowa City West also had to go on the road to get to this point. These programs haven't played since 2019, so we don't know much about the matchup, but whatever I do know, it's going to be fun to see tonight on Blitz. From Pleasant Hill, Jake Brand, Local 5 Sports. All right, Jake, thank you. Well, you're not going to want to miss our final Friday Night Blitz of the season. Here's what we have in store for you tonight. We'll have the highlights from our game of the week between Southeast Polk and Iowa City West, along with other state quarterfinal games going on tonight across central Iowa. Plus, we'll have a brand new Inside the Huddle featuring the PC and Mustangs, and we'll give out our weekly awards for the last time this season. You know where to find us. We'll be right back here after the 10 o'clock newscast.